gonna be a good day. <laughs> you don't even know how long I've been waiting for this. Oh my gosh. This is, I gotta start with the big one, cause duh. Cause duh. Okay. It's a box in a box. Oh, the teaser, the teaser. Oh baby. Looks like this. Coming back to the back, you know what I'm saying? Whoa, do I have this upside down? Possibly, I think I do. Oh, these are my bits, okay. Ah, ah, we got it. Where's your two? I'll find out later. Computer cable, power cables. Oh, is this the spindle thing, Robert? Okay. Put you right here, sir. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, it's the sun. Got it. Duh. Okay. Saint Smart. Right here. Saint Smart. They're the ones that sent me this. And I'm going to review it with you guys. Put it together. But also, okay, first of all, this is a CNC router. So you can put router bits in here, right? Okay. Stay. But then they also sent me... Keep doing it upside down, you know? Look at this little baby laser. Oh. Do that one later. How about that, huh? Okay, let's get this thing assembled. Okay, supposedly this is like pretty easy to set up and it should only take like 20 or so minutes. So we'll see. I'm kind of smart. I'm kind of smart. Look at all this stuff. Even comes with the tools. So they have a Facebook group, which it seems like Pretty much all the CMC brands have Facebook groups that are for users, which is kind of cool. So I've been in there just kind of poking around, seeing what people are asking. So they sent me this product. They said this is like the beginner product. It's supposed to be really easy to learn. So my goal is to document everything that I'm learning as I go for you guys. Part one, unboxing, checking components. Got it. But I flip the Y axis based on the upside down and remove the cable ties from the bearing mount. It's kind of cool because it has like pretty good directions. I'm a big direction follower. I did it used to be and then I learned my lesson. So we are going to flip her over. Okay. Oh shoot. Really moves, doesn't it? Okay. Move the spillboard to align the two screw holes of the spillboard. Okay. Sure is. Step 2.2, .2, installing the rubber feed. Oh, cool, okay. Well, oh, you're there. Done. Step 2.3, turn the Y-axis base assembly upside down and place it on the flat surface. Okay, so this is going this way. Got it. Like so. Okay, everyone. You guys following? And we need eight of these guys. How was your day? You gotta love when they send you extras, you know? Looks so pretty, okay. Installing the spindle. This. The collet or whatever that's called. What is, where's that? It's named, how cute is this little box? Unscrew the black collar from the spindle and insert the collet. Okay, is that this? Got it? Oh, there we go. That would make more sense. I push in it until it clicks, then screw the collet and back into the spindle. Okay, do I need to like, how tight do I tighten it? You, what? So am I putting it inside here? How do I do it? I just put it in? Guys? Someone? Does it just, you gotta loosen this. Okay, then we're gonna tighten it back in. 
Now we're going to do the side panels, these beautiful acrylic little pieces. Okay, so aside from these two guys, we're going to need eight Tillman millimeter bolts. Oh, these are tiny. Got OCD, so you know I have to organize everything. It's a problem, it's a good problem, it's a good problem. Left side baffled, the five minute bolt should insert from the left side. I'm sorry, what? Oh. Okay, so. You just leave it loosey goosey. Got it? Easy enough. So then I should be able to slide this in here. Oh, I see. Okay, let me get it. One down, baby. Now tighten the folds. Oh, I did that. Congratulations, now you're What, that was it? Woo, 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 woo. Okay, assembly done. Now we are gonna figure out how to wire it. Follow the wiring diagram below. Okay. So red positive, black negative. Dude, easy peasy. Red positive, right? Okay, does it, it's not plugged in. It's not plugged in, Trini, you're fine. And then positive, positively in there. Let's go. Insert the Y-axis step motor cable where, oh, okay, here we go. One has four wires, one has three wires. Don't make it complicated, guys, like I did. Just uh, look at the pictures. Okay. okay, and we're in. Cool. And now it says we are on to the cable management. What you will... What? So I've got some cable ties here. Oh, I see. There's literally notches... Wow, they really think of everything. Now it's uh, time to do the software. <laughs> they give you these clamps that uh, you can install the pieces with, or you hold the pieces on there with, right? Part four, baby, software setup. It says in install a driver, software driver, whatever this is. Uh, don't really know what that means. And then for the determine your machine's COM port, it shows stuff for Windows, but I have a Mac. So what I'm going to do is plug this adapter in. Okay, honey. And then uh, it came with this USB. So I'm going to plug that in. And uh, see what happens. I spent a lot of time trying to get the driver to show up on the MacBook so that I could actually connect to the machine and it just wasn't working. So I switched over to the Windows, but I do plan on trying to figure that out and then making a video about that later. Okay, going to... In the meantime, got some soap candle. It was still on the USB stick, so then I moved it to my desktop. You might say to do that. It doesn't say to do that. Does it say to do that? It doesn't say to do that. Test. Okay, so they put a file in here. Okay, going back into Candle. File. Open. Desktop. Test code. Same smart. I just open it. Oh, shoot. Move the spindle to the starting point of the engraving. So that the table and the work piece just touch. Click zero as well. What? Okay, so do I put this on here? Do I move this? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, oh, I don't have my. I gotta lock it in there, right? I do that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no idea what I'm doing. 
I've never used a CNC machine before, but Saint Smart does have a resource page that I went through and it's got a lot of information as well as a few videos. Um, the videos are a little outdated, so I did find some really good ones online that I'll link below um, from YouTube that kind of walk you through the entire process of setting up this exact machine as well as other machines and then how to utilize the software properly. Ooh, that is sharp. I am terrified. Click zero X Y. I am terrified to click this button. Okay, here we go. Oh shit. Oh my god, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. I forgot to put it down, right? Good, look at that. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. you gotta measure the total probe height. Okay. Oh, it just automatically turns on when you move it. <laughs> Fancy. Okay. Um, let's just pop it in there. 12.1. Remember that. Okay, so then I go to set service settings probe commands. And change that to twelve point two one. Is that what I said? Twelve point one. Oh, twelve point one. Okay, we're in here. Oh, probe is on. Click the Z probe button. Z axis automatic to zero. It was a boom. Touched it. Part seven. Offline controller. I'm assuming it's there. Let's see. Select the settings interface icon that's shown. Click the enter button. Yeah, how the hell do you select it? Oh. This one? Oh. Select the prepare screen icon. Oh, prepare. Got it. So, oh, I have to put, I'd have to put the file in there. Okay, got it. Okay, I wanted to show you what I bought for the machine because my machine, I think there's an option for this when you're buying this machine, but mine came with the same V-carve bits. So I have just these, but in order to do some of the cuts, you need different bits. So I actually ordered a pack of one eighth shank bits just like a you know a bunch of random bits from Sane Smart. Look at those, how pretty are they? I went ahead and also bought some double-sided wood tape. So I will link this below. Uh, I got this on Amazon. I also got these on Amazon, but they also sell them on their website. It didn't come with any test material. I know some machines do. This specific one didn't come with any of that. So you need some type of material to cut. Um, so I just used some scrap wood that I had. I also picked up for some future projects. I picked up, check out this cutting board. 
These were at Hobby Lobby and they were like 40% off. So nice find. I cut out um, some, some just, what is this called? Sheathing plywood? Some scrap wood? The same size, right? I just traced it, cut it out with my scroll saw. Um, but look what I made out of this. Not the best, but look what I made. So I went to Etsy and I bought a file for $5.00 that was of this because my goal is to use it on this. Um, since I was just starting out though, I did try to do it with the router, but when I went back through the file, I realized the one I bought, she originally created it for um, a laser. So my goal is to make another scrap piece of wood and then redo it with the laser so that it uh, isn't digging into the grain like this, but I'm still learning the tool paths and how to set all that stuff up. But this is um this is really fun and I really appreciate Sandsmart for sending me this. This little baby right here. Overall, I would say this machine, it was really easy to set up. I didn't have any issues, obviously. I mean, you saw. <laughs> I it's it explains everything in the manual. The manual, it comes with a physical copy. Where is that? And uh, it explains everything in here. Also, the Facebook group is really helpful. If you have questions, just go to the Facebook group. They also have a support on their website. So if you need help with your Saint Smart machine, just reach out to Saint Smart. They're really awesome. Um, great to work with. Saint Smart, I appreciate it. My goal is to start with this one, learn how to use it, learn you know what it can do, what it can't do, and then expand to something bigger so that I can do bigger projects. Because obviously, doing something like this on a machine this size is probably not the best idea. Um, but it works, it does work, you know? But yeah, so thank you for watching. Thanks for coming along. And uh, let's keep building, baby.